Hi, I'm Patu from Freeze and Cal. A quick update of my stock portfolio for the month of August. I publish this once a month as regular viewers and readers will know. So this is the uh, evolution of the portfolio since 2014. You can see that uh, for a long time I did not invest much in the portfolio. It's only from late 2018 onwards I started investing in it. And you can see that the, uh, after the recent uh, you know, uh, fall since October 2021 or so, it's started picking up uh, nicely. So the portfolio is based essentially on two factors. The primary factor is uh, uh, volatility, low volatility. And the secondary or maybe equivalent factor is e uh, equally important factor is the company or the business should have uh, low debt. And then within that low volatility portfolio, I have been chasing momentum. So if I see some stocks which are uh, moving up, then I have tried to invest more in that within that portfolio without selling or buying anything new. So this, uh, excuse me, this is the um, portfolio. So you can see the weights uh, and this is the average investment duration weighted by the investment amount the absolute gain, the dividend gain, the total gain, uh, the CAGR based on the total gain and the average investment duration and the XIRR based on our tracker sheet, which takes into account all the dividends and the stock splits, etc. in the right way. Uh, many people uh, make the mistake of assuming dividends are actual payouts. They should be reinvested back to, um, uh, to calculate the XIRR. So you can see here, they're not done too badly, except for Wipro, which is, uh, you know, uh, which is uh, had a little bit of a loss in my, for, for me, from, from the time I started investing in it. And uh, 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 the big uh, mover has been ITC is, it's now at an uh, uh, a absolute gain of about 50, 54%. <laughs> That's amusing, uh, considering how long it has been in the, you know, in the doldrums and so on. Now, um, if you look at the absolute gain of the portfolio, including dividends, it's 33.88%. An equivalent investment in UTI Nifty index fund would have given an absolute return of 30.7%. Uh, a Nifty low volatility 30 total returns index would have given you an investment would have given you 28.6% or so. Um, those are the CAGRs and the XIRRs. I don't read too much into the XIRs, XIRRs and CAGRs, but the portfolio is still about only about 1.83 years old. You can see the uh, evolution of the absolute return. It's, it was doing well, excuse me. It was doing well for a while and then during the crash, it fell down to the two indices, the Nifty and the low volatility index. And then it is um, for a couple of months and then it has picked up again in the last couple of months of course it doesn't mean much because I have not done any great research or anything it's more uh, mostly uh, due to uh, you know pot luck I, I would say but I mean I'm, I'm just having fun uh, building this portfolio and for new viewers uh, I'm this is a this is a very small portion of my total retirement portfolio I continue to invest regularly in uh, mutual funds bye bye